How long have I been an artist? I've been. I feel that I've been doing this for a long time. Since I was a kid, I, I could like since I could hold a pen and um, draw on a piece of paper. But I would say professionally, maybe a decade or so. Hello, I'm Monde Petrogonewa. What are the proudest pieces uh, I've, I've uh, done? Um, I feel every artwork that I do at that moment when I finish it is like my favorite artwork. Um, it's it's kind of hard for me to choose now um, which one it is because every time I'm doing something, I'm I'm trying to I'm doing it in terms of like I'm excited about it and when I see the finished product, I'm always like, wow, I did that. That came out of me. That's I don't really have one, unfortunately. I just have many. I'd say all my work is like my proudest accomplishments. You know what I mean? I want people to be excited for the image, as much as I'm excited in making the image. I like making bold, in-your-face uh, uh, statements or imagery or dark, uh, uh, gratuitous, violent imagery because, in a way, that is therapeutic for me to release that. But also, it draws people in. And sometimes it can be exciting to see something different, you know, to shock you into like what's going on there, to make you ask your question days later when you're not looking at the image, what was happening there? That for me is what I, I always want to put, that excitement, that unknown feeling. That makes people curious and that makes people interested in the work. You need to really work. You need to work hard. You need to uh, be ambitious. You need to be curious. You need to be excited about what the hell you want to do because if you are not and if you're not if you're not doing any of those things or any of those things are in your life then it is kind of pointless in you trying to be an artist at any level because you will always be at the bottom level and you always feel that you're the bottom level there's no easier way there's just hard work how is PE catered for me as an artist in terms of my growth uh, what I'll say is PE is not like Jogo or Cape Town. There's not a lot of resources. Um, it kind of forces you to um, to assess yourself. Like to, to, to If you really want to be an artist, you will be one. And that's the type of place PE is. Because if you really want to go into this, you, 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 you have to work hard. And that's what you do. You, 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 you. And it also makes you, as much as you're a singular individual that wants to be an artist, you, you realize that sometimes, specific, specifically in PE, there are other artists that are talented. And sometimes you survive much more better in collaborating with people. Whether, whether you physically collaborate or don't collaborate in, on a painting, sometimes collaborating with, in terms of ideas, in terms of like uh, um, mindset, in terms of thought, in terms of like talking to people. That's what I've kind of like gotten from PE. It's forced me to go out there and deal with other people, which sometimes is a good thing and sometimes it can be bad, but let's just take the good for now because that that, that learning different skills on, uh, on how to interact with other people, other artists, is, is much more better than uh, being on your own and being your, your, your cliche artist who's like this suffering individual. So I would say, P, P has done that for me. Uh, I've, I've, I've found, and also I've, I've for myself, in, in the sense that there aren't a lot of things happening here, but you have to force yourself to, to make things happen. You have to force yourself to, to no one's going to do it for you. No, no. What I like about it is that you know already when you're an artist in P, nothing's going to come easy. And that in itself is a good thing because that in itself shows how much you are dedicating what you're doing. You really realize. I really am in this for the long run and I'm not gonna I'm not about to quit so that's what PE has done in terms of my growth what are my goals in the future as an artist well you know um, I'm just gonna go with the obvious I want to be successful I want to make money I want my work to sell that's my goal I want to be able to live off what I do that's the bigger that's the bigger goal I don't want to be I don't need to be rich I don't need to be incredibly famous I just need to survive with what I do that's what my goal is it sounds like uh, 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 um, it, it doesn't sound pretty ambitious but that's where I'm at I want to survive I want because art is my life I, I, I don't see myself doing anything else 